Alice Epitant, uh, Andrew Hurdle, was it 20, a couple of years ago? Uh, she was a, she was a great mare for me for you know she obviously won the champion hurdle when uh, when Barry was riding her and I inherited her to that and uh, we had some great days and this is probably nearly the best of them. Um, she was a little bit keen throughout the race and, and my instructions were just hold on to her for, till at least the back of the last. But look, she was by far the best and 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 she made that easy for me as you could see. She's still kind of um, she's on top of them here. I think Sanya here falls at the last there in a second, but. Um, we had him covered, and um, you look. It was another another really good performance from her. Brilliant jumper she was, uh, really quick from A to B, and um, yeah, she was she was she was a lovely uh, mare to be associated with, and, and those colours as well, JP, and then were um, mainstays for the latter stage of my career, and uh, we had some great days, and just being up there with one of them. As Epitop left clear at the final flight of hurdles, romps home in the Betway entry hurdle. I really embraced those good horses and, and I enjoyed them and um, I kind of focused my career towards them and I was lucky enough to have plenty at the time so I enjoyed every second of it and um, you know I, I really really kind of appreciated being on them and having these rides and, and uh, I made sure that I didn't um, mess any of them up. Yeah my last big winner John Bon um, Celebration Chase. Um, Look, he's been a fantastic horse, he still is obviously, uh, he's, 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 he's without me now unfortunately for for me anyway, he'd made a mistake down the back and um, we kind of got out of position. Jumping the first of the seven fences down the back and John Bon plunged at that fence. That was not his best effort. I knew that was in the tank because I think his best performance of the year nearly was um, entry, his previous one where he won a grade one novice and he was very dominant that day. He jumped and he travelled and he, and he loves that good ground as well. So. Um, I was a bit worried for a bit down the back in that race, but once we um, kind of straightened up and I kind of thought I'd Captain Guinness covered, it was um, just get, get, get the job done. He was so good and, you know, he's, he's coming here after, you know, he's a novice, these are seasoned, seasoned professionals, he's running against older horses and uh, he won quite well at the line and, um, you know, his career is hopefully still on an upward trajectory and uh, I look forward to, although it'll be hard, I look forward to watching and see how it progresses. Um, yeah, but we, I think, I won. I don't know, three or four great ones on him and this being uh, one of them and uh, yeah so many great days and again JP as well which was um, you know him and his family and his team were, were fantastic and it was great to reward them on some of their good horses at the time. Everyone wants to find them horses and um, I had a few in my career which uh, which was uh, very lucky and fortunate to have it because not everyone gets that opportunity. You could always like a few more but um, they're, you know, the best horses are usually the easiest to ride and you get the most out of them and, and, and they're the most fun. So when you get on them, you need, to, um, you need to embrace the challenge and enjoy it. He always challenged his energy in the right way. He'd get a bit warm before, before, um, before a race, but he was a warm horse. Even in the winter when horse had three rugs, he always had two. You know, he was just a warm horse, but he was a very easy ride when he was going. He didn't particularly pull. Uh, he never exerted any um, energy and, um, or, you know, on, on things he shouldn't be doing. And, uh, he was a very good racehorse. He's got the option of going up and tripping that. Uh, so there's, yeah, there's plenty. And um, it'd be hard to watch, but he's a horse that means a lot to me. So, you know, it'd be interesting. Yeah, put the kettle on, uh, Champion Chase. Yeah, this was great. It was, uh, it was a behind closed doors one, which um, probably took a little bit away from the, you know, the afters, you know, walking down the chute and coming into the, the parade ring, uh, but, but um, the race itself was, is, you know, you just got as much a thrill if there was from nobody being there to, to everybody being there because, you know, we, we want to win and, and that elation when you cross the line was, was still there, as you can see, although there was no crowd. Um, look, she was a fantastic mare. I won um, an Arkle on her the year before. I won a, a Schlor Chase and an Arkle trial. And um, uh, she, she had her own kind of way of doing things. She was a little bit... Um, uh, not temperamental. She kind of uh, she was a bit grumpy, but you know she was a fantastic race mare. And um, as I said, she's uh, won a champion chase in an article, which is uh, you know very very hard to do. And um, it only seems to be the greats that have done it. And uh, she's one of them. Uh, whether she gets the applaud that she deserved, I don't know. But uh, she means a lot to me anyway. It's probably less pressure with her because she wasn't particularly fancied. It. You know she you know there was a couple of talking horses in the race. Like you know you could see Shaq and Poor Swa. I think he was short price and. A couple more, but like everything went really well for her in the race, and uh, you know she was particularly easy mare to ride. You kind of rode her forward and um, let her do what she did, and and, and didn't she didn't like being interfered with too much. So you know she didn't take a lot of riding um, as long as you just didn't um, 
kind of getting her way and um, I said although it was behind closed doors you know the, the, the thrill and the elation when you passed the line was, was still just there as, as, as if there was a full house. Yeah, obviously she was a bit of a, a bit of a surprise this year because she obviously started her novice chase career in the summer. I think she won her on Wexford and Kilbegan and I won on her as an outsider of four in the Arkle trial and she had the winter off and, and came back for this and was somewhat of a forgotten horse. Um, so it was a bit of a surprise on the day, but as we said, you know, she followed up with next year's um, champion chase win. So, you know, she, you know, she wasn't a fluke winner by any means. And as you can see here, we beat... Uh, Fakal Duderi, who's won numerous grade ones since, and we're well clear of the third and fourth. The kettle on is plucky, and she simply will not be denied. And it's the mayor, put the kettle on, who takes the racing post so It was a very good performance, and it probably went under the radar um, a little bit, and, and it was forgotten about. But uh, as I say, we kind of um, proved a point when we come back and won uh, next year's uh, champion chase. But uh, as I said, she oh, really enjoyed riding her, and, and, and she was a fantastic mare. She had lovely owners, and uh, Henry de Bromhead was a very good supporter of mine as well, so special days. She probably still didn't get the credit she deserved after that even. Um, but you know what, for those, you know, for those of us involved with her, we, we appreciate her and respected her and, and, uh, and really enjoyed her. So you know, it doesn't really kind of, you know, for us it doesn't matter whether she's got 25 headlines the next day or, or none. Um, I think she's the only mare to win a, a you know um, a champion chase, and uh, you know she she uh, she was very good, and hopefully she'll be a good broodmare now as well. Mm. Oh, God, where would you start? You know he was he, you know he, you know he was my first Grade One winner, and then he was with me the whole way through until um, till my last year riding, um, which is you know for a stare, you know it takes a lot out of him, and, and for him to have that longevity is. Look, obviously, he was, he was brilliantly prepared by Emma and Barry and, and their team. But like you know, he did credit to the horse as well for um, staying at a top level for 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 that length of time and winning so many big races. And uh, yeah, he was a special horse for a number of reasons. And um, it, you know, he, he was great to be associated with. And he, he retired obviously last month as well. So uh, it'd be nice if we finished together. But uh, you know, that's not what the racing gods wanted. And here we are. He always he was funny old character, brilliant character. He was very intelligent and he always held something back for himself, although he was very genuine and you know, you can see in the races he won, but I remember one day he whipped around in a clean hurdle and you know, he would always prick his ears the whole time. So he uh he, he, he always looked after himself. So he probably if for a stare to last, he probably ticked all the boxes because um he didn't uh he didn't overexert himself. Um he had a great balance of trying really hard but kind of um keeping a bit back for himself at the same time and that's why he probably lasted as long as he did. I, I think Paisley, do you know what I mean? Especially his first stairs hurdle, it was like um, to win one of the, the big four races at the festival is, is great and I'm uh, lucky enough to win a couple of them now. Um, and I think with him it was uh, it was kind of, there was a bit more with him. He was kind of a people's horse as well and, and um, he was so progressive that year. He started off winning a handicap at Aintree and worked to Haydock, to Ascot, to Cheltenham for the Cleave, his first of four Cleaves. And then, you know, he was a real talking horse at the festival and a banker and um, with that, and uh, you know, comes added pressure, and um, to finish off the perfect season was just magical, and uh, you know, it'd be very hard to top that. Even though I've had some fantastic days, but um, you know, that probably has to be the, the cherry on top, so to speak. Watch live racing now on RacingTV.com.